Breeze. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Recording Stuff. My name is Weaver Beats. Today we'll be talking about recording, getting set up, and what you need. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go over the things you need. What you don't need is a USB microphone. Mm. Those suck. Do not get that. Also, do not record stuff off your phone, your laptop. What you should get is a USB interface with XLR and or one fourth inputs. All right, so I just looked up USB interfaces. You can get them as low as $40 to 100. The one I have is about 100, 150, the Focusrite 2i4. A lot of people have that. There's a Personas audio box here for 50 bucks. If you really want to shell out some money, this Universal Audio Apollo Twin is really good. But essentially what these things have, they have XLR inputs. This one here is an XLR input that doubles as a quarter inch input. The way it works is you plug it in, and then there's a gain knob here. There's phantom power, which is what you need for a condenser microphone. And then it's a volume knob here. And then on the back, on the back it has outputs. You can output to various things. You use the balance one to output the monitors. On the front, there's a headphone jack. So essentially, this is going to be your hub for recording. Everything is going to come in and out of here. They also have more expensive interfaces with more inputs if you want to record a band. Um, look into what you need before purchasing. The USB interface will be about $100, $50 to $100 roughly, depending on how low you want to go. I mean, they have one for $38 bucks. here. That's, that's the cheapest one I see. All right, next you're gonna need an XLR microphone. So this thing, oh look, it's Amazon's choice. What a surprise. So as far as microphones, you're gonna want a condenser or a dynamic microphone. A condenser microphone is more sensitive, but it requires phantom power. Quite a few audio interfaces have phantom power within them. So if you can, you should get a condenser microphone. The detail is much higher. A dynamic, a dyna, dyna, there's nothing wrong with dynamic microphones. An SM58 is good if you want. Really anything will do. Look, you can get a microphone for 20 bucks here. That's crazy, but if we want a really good one, probably gonna be like a hundred. I used to have this one right here. I have this one right now, it's pretty good. You can get it with the pop filter and everything too. Look. All right, and then we're gonna need a cable. That's a lot of cable. Not really anything to explain here. It's just the cable. You plug it in, both sides. You need one that's female to male, or male to female. Should be good right here. I'm gonna assume you have a computer already. Otherwise, how are you watching this? I mean, I guess you could be using your phone. And then recording software. Um, if you've been following my other tutorials, you probably use Ableton. If you don't use any recording software, you can use something free like Audacity. All right, and then to get everything set up, you're gonna wanna connect your audio interface. Then you might have to install some drivers and you're pretty much good to go. You just plug in the microphone, turn up the gain, if it's a condenser microphone, you're gonna need the phantom power to be on. You're gonna need headphones to, to hear yourself when you listen back and your DAW. There's also direct monitoring on some interfaces. It's better to monitor in your DAW though, if possible. All right, that's it for this video. Did you guys learn something about microphones and getting a good recording setup? setup? Oh yeah, one more thing, you're gonna need a pop filter. Uh, especially if you're gonna do vocals, like rapping. Make sure to check out my merch if you guys have it. I'll link it down in the description. Check my SoundCloud if you have it. I'm trying to get to 25,000 followers. Almost there. I'm at like 200, I think, or something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm at like 24, 24,600 or something. Um, check out my Discord if you have not We have lots of fun there. It's a Christian server, though, so no swearing, please. Make sure to tune in next time when I make my hands look like this. Shout out to my patrons. You get their option. You're now listening to The Third Child. A link to check out his music is down in the description.